Your Excellency, Benigno Simeon Aquino III, members of the Magsaysay family, distinguished guests, honorable trustees of the Ramon Magsaysay Foundation, fellow awardees, ladies and gentlemen. As a youngster in 1954, I shook hands with a smiling, tall gentleman. He was Ramon Magsaysay, the popular third president of the Republic of the Philippines. I imagine that that handshake, more than half a century ago, was a prelude to this evening's stunning event with me as a recipient of the Ramon Magsaysay Award. Two decades later, in 1975, the Tambuli Cultural Troupe, which I founded before, performed on this main theater stage in celebration of Philippine Independence Day. The troupe performed again at the CCP in 1976 at the Little Theater in conjunction with the first Tawi-Tawi Arts and Crafts exhibits which I organized. The Goodwill performances were simply magical for me and the young dancers from the Sulu College of Technology and Oceanography, a unit of the Mindanao State University in Bongao, Tawi-Tawi. Our cultural activities during those martial law years served as a unifying force and painted a favorable image of the Tausug, Samal, Bajau, and Jamamapon of the Sulu Archipelago. Thankfully, my work gained momentum, inspired by the countless native co-workers whose cooperation enabled me to document their artistic heritage, a heritage of which every Filipino can be proud. Two national artists for dance also inspired my work, Leonor Orosa Goquinco and Francisca Reyes Aquino, herself a Ramon Magsaysay awardee in 1962. What else can a cultural worker say while savoring this moment of magic with deepest feeling. Not much, except to emphasize the importance of keeping alive the folk artistic expressions that link us to our past and to one another and to the rest of Asia and the world. I appeal for renewed efforts to develop a sensible program for dance education and conservation of indigenous dance forms and to provide facilities conducive to the well-being of dancers. Allied to this, I appeal for more assistance and other incentives for academic research and publication. I wish more government and private institutions in the Philippines would be sincerely responsive to the plight of researchers and authors who need funds more than sympathy to carry on with their work. Their findings will enable others in the cultural sector to teach and write better, to conserve, create, and innovate for the greater glory and growth of artistic traditions in the Philippines. Of special interest are living artifacts or records of the past, like Pangalay, also known as Igal or Pansak, a dance tradition that affirms our cultural affinities. To see beyond the authentic nature of Pangalay is to see the essence of Filipino ancestry artistically refined, dignified, and profound. Safeguarding an artistic tradition like Pangalay goes beyond sharing its beauty and versatility 
through changing times. It involves promoting respect for tradition, which is vital to national identity and unity. A fast-changing world with unstoppable growth, growth patterns needs the silent eloquence of an ancient symbol like Pangalay or Igal residing in a moving body to express what it feels than what it sees. Respecting such symbols can contribute to the greatness of the Filipino nation. Honorable trustees, fellow cultural workers, mga kalasahan ko, mga bagay ko, mga kakampungan ko, magsarang sukutud makaam kami mo. I share this recognition with you. Mabuhay.